Good evening <laughs> and <laughs> welcome to the pressure cooker in the sun, which is my car at the moment. <laughs> in the wor in the words of the late great Yogi Berra, okay, this is like deja vu all over again. Uh, uh, it seems to be getting hotter and hotter um, as we move headlong towards summer and yet still waiting for stuff to change. I mean... Um, we did go for a quick drive to Barnard Castle just to check that uh, my eyesight was good enough to uh, to do this um, broadcast today. Um, but hey, if it's good enough for Dominic Cummins, then why can't it be good enough for me? You know, here's a Durham and back. It's only a uh, 500 mile round trip. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, what I want to know is how did you get away with that? How did you travel 250 miles each way in lockdown without anybody noticing you? Whew, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but like I said, in the words of George Orwell, so you know we're all equal, but some of us are more equal than than the, than the rest. Here we are. It's week nine, okay, of our lockdown series of films, Can Do Arts Open Mic for Open Minds in association with the Revo Lounge. This is going to be film number nine, um, and uh, I have to say before I go any further, last week's contributions were absolutely stellar. Um, and uh, for me, it's a particular pleasure to see uh, films made by artists, which um, who I, I know, who I know, and who um, I've been involved with in the past. Um, and getting those people to contribute to what we're doing is does really take everything up just a notch. Because um, you know, when people are really good at what they do, then it's a fantastic inspiration. There's something there, you know, to to show people what's possible. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I'm so so pleased about that. So I want to say massive thanks to um, Rob McLeod and to uh, Jemima Hughes for their contributions to last week's amazing film. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what Jemima has sent us this week because I know she's sent us something and I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty damn good. Um, but um, in terms of, uh, you know, the lockdown easing, don't see any sign of that. Um, I think these things have a kind of... Uh, they, uh, they have a natural rhythm and I think everybody, as it gets hotter and hotter, the pressure is going to come on, all right, for people to, uh, the lockdown to ease, you know, they're talking about people going back to work next week and people going, you know, kids going back to school. Um, so, you know, let's all cross our fingers and hope that, um, you know, whatever, um, the, whatever restrictions are lifted and whatever the process we go through helps that keeps things on an even keel. They don't get out of control. So I'm just like wishing everybody the best on that. All right. Um, but um, yeah, <laughs> welcome to our film. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that um, you will um, see some people who are absolutely going to blow your minds uh, uh, today. Uh, and remember, share this. All right. Get, you know, if you're in it, get it out there. Share it. Be proud of what you've done. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're not in it and you'd like to be, email us, right? So open mic at, uh, at uh, candu-arts.com. Um, and uh, we would love to have your contributions to our weekly films, which are we are going to continue. All right. Um, so, uh, you know, please, you know, come in, join us, be part of what we're doing. All right. Um, and uh, even if it's just watching. OK, um, so we've been getting hundreds, thousands of views um, on some of these films. And that is just so, uh, so gratifying to know that people are out there sort of checking out what we're doing and getting into it. All right now, I'm going to take a break for a second while I sponge myself down because I am literally sweating buckets. All right. Um, so uh, I've lost so much weight since I've been in this car. My wife won't recognize me when I get home. Uh, all right. <laughs> Anyway, enjoy uh, the fantastic acts that we've got coming up for you. Um, and uh, I'll be back in a little while with a poem or two.
across the evening sky All the birds are leaving How can they know it's time for them to go Before the winter
Well, when I found that interview on the 4th day of July, first old man, he questioned me until I nearly cried. He made me fill in forms until I shook with fear about the color of my toilet roll and dick my cousin's queer. Here's your gold watch and shackles for your chain. And your piece of paper to say you left it sane. If you have a son and he wants a good career, get him to sign on the dotted line and work for 50 years. He asked me how many jobs I'd had before. He nearly had a heart attack when I answered for. Four jobs in twenty years, this can never be. We only take on men who work until they die. Here's your gold watch and shackles for your chain. And your piece of paper to say you left here sane. If you have a son, and he wants a good career Just get it to sign on the dotted line And work for 50 years He took me outside To where the gravestones stand in line This is where we bury them In quickstone and in lime And if you come to work for us This you must agree If you're gonna die Please do it during tea break. Here's your gold watch and shackles for your chain. And your piece of paper to say you left here sane. If you have a son and he wants a good career, get it to sign on the dotted line and work for 50 years. This story you've heard think rather queer but it is the truth you'll be surprised to hear I did not want no job upon the board I just wanted to take a broom and sweep the bloody floor here's your gold watch and shackles for your change and your piece of paper to say you left his same if you have a son and he wants a good career, get him to sign on the dotted line and work for 50 years. Get him to sign on the dotted line and work for 50 years. Remember we were younger The day we climbed that hill Free from thought and feeling light Our minds were still Our minds were still We dreamt and we could fly Valleys glowed in our reflected night Together we never thought We flew so
Remember we were younger The day we climbed that hill Free from thought and feeling light Our minds were still Our minds were still we dreamt and we could fly Valleys glowed in our reflective light Together we never fall We flew so high The day I saw eternity Okay, this is a song that I wrote a very long time ago. Very long time ago. Showing my age now. So this is called Lost Generation.
Okay, so the sun has just become a beast now, which is trying to cook me. Um, and uh, uh, so I'm going to do a poem for you now, um, which is uh, something I wrote a little while ago. Um, those of you that know me will know will know that I'm not a musician, all right. Um, but I do entertain entertain fanciful notions about um, uh, playing guitar. And to that end, I started having lessons with a good friend of mine some time ago, but they didn't go very well. Um, but, but it's like anything, you've got to stick at it, haven't you? Um, uh, so um, this is called uh, On the Cusp of a Lick. It goes, I'm learning to play guitar. Thankfully, my teacher could train monks in Zen. Twelve months in, and I know that I'm the worst pupil ever. The one who will not quit, no matter what dissonance they create. Maybe he's begun to realise that this is a struggle to the death, a funeral march out of time. Old dogs need old tricks, but despite that, I'm on the cusp of a lick. I've been a muso since forever, with few boundaries or untravelled paths. From ska to hip-hop, from Pavarotti to punk, funking up regular and dropping in rather than out. Now, I strum with gnarly wooden fingers, punctuated by inward sighs of disappointment, strangled shouts that become wails. I think they call that the blues. I now own three guitars, all hidden from view, and struggle with all the chords, both old and not so new. But each week I puff my cheeks and stride into the tap. I, buy, I meet my teacher who drinks the beer I buy while showing me the indulgence of a father. He slides and fingers his guitar like a playful demigod, entertaining his favorite mistress. I see the mountain top post avalanche, no discernible route. The air is thin and sends me reeling back to base camp. A D A E, Peggy Sue. Slowly, with imperceptible increments, the monolith shifts. You know, like the Saturn V pre launch vehicle, you know, the one with wheels as big as a house. My ears become accustomed to the sound of actual notes and I can uh, recognise their absence but not summon them at will. But despite that these small victories give me hope in the nick. Yeah baby, I'm on the cusp of a lick. Welcome back folks, bathroom sessions. This one's for you, Jamie Roach.
My saucepan. My copper saucepan is getting old, aging with me. I use it daily, always remembering the time I bought it many years ago, for one euro, a few shabby stalls in the market square, as the sun beat down on a hidden French village. Then we had a cold beer, my daughter and I, such treasure. You say seen you twice together with somebody you can't help it why won't you say that you'll stay true why can't you promise to be
Hello Candy Arts, um, let's get straight into it. Here we go. Well, I'm running out trying to listen my little Thank you, everyone.
craft folk. Her art was in her sheltering, blossom clad, heavy with fruit, fully seasoned and grown, while all beneath skills they honed. The one specialising in veneer, walnut he preferred, for its splayed ecstatic sheen when expertly polished, never himself reaching for the mouth drying fruit. The railing maker turning hand and lathe as one, balustrades, banisters, bedposts and walls, ensuring all edges were rounded. The joiner exacting at every tenon, forming furniture for his landscape, uneasy with an empty space. In breezes to the novice gardener's rough trellis she bowed, green wood, sodden at foot, wool ties straining, his saplings were his stays. So, it's the 1960s and there's this woolly hatted monkey and he made everybody laugh. But the 60s ended and he went away and wrote some songs. Tell me one more time the reasons why you must leave. Tell me again that you don't even need me. One more time, don't think that you'll convince me. Because you said before falling in love again, you'd rather be dead. Somebody breaks your heart, you cry your eyes red. But there's nothing so hard about the life. As far as I can see, there's no reason for goodbye. You're just running scared, and that's something I don't buy. So you lose. I won't let you go with nothing to show but more blues. And all this talk about leaving is strictly bad news. Stay with a man that loves you Well as far as I can see There's no reason for goodbye You're just running scared And that's something I don't buy Talk about leaving is strictly bad news. Settle down and stay with a man that loves you. Settle down and stay with a man that loves you. Settle down and stay with me. Thank you. Didn't work. Chicken, her and many 
this is a poem that I wrote for my parents to help them to try and understand me and this is called My Biggest Fear. I've never lied to you before. Yet you still question, are you sure? When I tell you I'm okay, I've never lied to you before. Until now. I'm lost. I'm lost like our home movies on old VHS. I need to be converted to work in this modern world before you can gain access. I'm a closed book of poems you want to read. My brain goes as deep as a submarine. The deeper I go, the less light can penetrate the waters to reach me. I'm racing the go-kart you bought us as kids, head first into the wall I've built. Cutting through the rope of the tire swing you made with my razor-sharp tongue. I'm on time one end of the zip line to make it more difficult for us to reach the other side. Hammering on the slats with my heavy heart of the tree house you built when we were young. I'm making a molehill out of the mountain you once were. I got your eyes, but trying to see through them is one big blur. I maintain that what you don't know can't hurt you, but I know you create scenarios in your head and it's worse. I don't want to be interesting or funny because that warrants attention. Too close for comfort has never rang so true. I'm looking for a cure because I left it too late for prevention and I'm sorry. I wiped away your touch. I know your intention, I misjudged, but I've spent a decade wiping away his and this reaction won't budge. Soft kisses sit on my skin like paper cuts. How can I feel like you're trying to reduce my rights when you're trying to reduce my pain? How can I feel like you're holding me back when you're holding back the knife from my vein? You're gathering me back together and I'm giving you one more wrinkle for every time my silence increases the strain and I'm sorry. That you didn't get to say goodbye to her but she feels so much peace. She couldn't take on the world as it is now. She said it's a job for me and I agree, but an initiation period is routine with any newly filled vacancy. If my job had been as unrewarding as yours has been recently, I'd have quit, but you work harder. Anytime I hoist up the anchor, you throw it back down with a reminder that it is safer in the harbor. Your love has been known to move monsters for me and mine, Moves you to tears. On the outside, you're the sturdy frame around our family photos. Inside, on your knees, praying for my nightmares to disappear. And I'm sorry, I can't feel for you. But my frozen heart pumps cold blood around my body and it's making me numb. I should treat you better knowing you're the ones that never falter. Knowing you're there at the end of any episode, regardless of the outcome. But I am a constant contradiction of help me, no don't. I still hang on your every word, but sometimes I like to cut the rope. You're there every time at the bottom to catch me if I can't stop. Your love travels faster than my thoughts and you anticipated this before I dropped. I don't like goodbyes since the thought became permanent, but you need one before I leave. I want to slow down and take in this moment, but my brain has the body of an athlete. You wind me up like a jack-in-the-box, but it's a toy you've never seen before. You want to know you're cranking up the tension or whether you'll be met with a children's party clown or that lunatic from Saw. The small things that make me scowl now will be the things I know I'd miss the most. The sounds that make me twitch will be the sounds I wish were still this close. I wish I could let you love me in the way you want to. I've never seen something so unconditional. You've changed your views on everything for me to be more modern and less traditional. Now, one hour at a time, you'll say, and I know you understand. You might die tomorrow, just go for it. I can take that kind of command. We've all felt the heat on this last trip around the sun. Something has to give to relieve some pressure on the next one. My biggest fear is that one day it'll be too late and I won't have fixed it before you're done. But thank you for letting me learn to walk again before I learn to run. So this is me. Opening up my closed book of poems for you to read. In the hope it goes some way to setting us free. To overcoming my biggest fear and not sitting on the stairs for conversation so that there's a barrier in between. Just wait. I will always come back to you. Just wait. If you have time. See, you wrote that poem and I realised you're the reason that I write. You are the reason that I'm alive. Okay, so if you're watching this bit, that means that the the film has almost come to an end and it's time for the credits to roll and Ed to play us out with a song. Um, but um, I've had to wind the window down just to get some...
just to get some air in here because I was just starting to feel a bit faint. All right, um, but um, I um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for um, contributing to our little films, um, and uh, keep on sending us your uh, your um, contributions. They are most gratefully received. All right, we are building an archive, an archive of love here. Um, you know, so thank you for sharing. Thank you for being part. All right, and look forward to uh, being with you again soon in this space, which is so welcoming and so much fun to be a part of. All right, thanks everybody, and good evening. Bye bye. Uh, it was uh, Bob Dylan's birthday on Sunday, so uh, I thought I'd do a little tribute to him. Now he's probably never going to hear this, so it doesn't really matter how it comes out. But you know, um. Just want to say thank you, Bob, and um, happy days. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't look bad. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't look bad. She take the dark out of the nighttime, paint the daytime black. You will start out standing, proud to steal her anything she sees. You will start out standing, proud to steal her anything she sees. You will wind up peeking through. A keyhole down upon your knees She never stumbles She's got no place to fall Yeah, she never stumbles She's got no place to fall She's nobody's child The law can't touch her at all Got an Egyptian ring that sparkles before she speaks. She's got an Egyptian ring that sparkles before she speaks. She is a hypnotist collector. You are a walking antique. Bow down to her on Sunday. Salute her when her birthday comes Bow down to her on Sunday Salute her when her birthday comes For Halloween by her a trumpet Christmas by her a drum She's got everything she needs She's an artist, she don't look bad She's got everything she needs She's an artist, she don't look bad She'll take the dark out of the night time she paint the daytime black she paint the daytime black she paint the daytime black She'll paint the daytime black daytime black thank you so much for everything and uh i hope to see you next week and maybe even see you down at the revo lounge on friday when they're starting their new takeaway menu vegan burger with cheese much oh yeah god i hope you edit that properly <laughs> <laughs> uh.